I am standing in front of the fireplace. It's now time for me to decorate it for the Christmas season. I finished decorating my Christmas tree. You can check out the video, it's on the channel. And so I am moving to the fireplace and I will be touching every surface from the mirror to the mantle to the earth. Check it out down there. There's nothing going on down there right now, but there will be something after I am done. Now, for me, I like to have a more symmetrical design on the fireplace mantle. So what I usually do is start in the middle and then work my way out on either side. For you to have a symmetrical design, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have the same items, the mirror of the opposite side. You can just choose items that have similar weight, scale, and proportion, and then you will have a more symmetrical feel on your fireplace mantle. That's one tip for you. Just choose items that have similar weight and proportion and uh, scale in order to get your symmetrical feel on your fireplace mantle. Now, there are some things that will be staying here and there are some things that will be going. To get started, what I'll do is remove everything from the fireplace. Do a little cleaning and then I'll start decorating from the top down. So I'll start with my mirror first. I have what I think is a fine plan for the mirror. <laughs> so I'll start with the mirror and then when I'm finished decorating the mirror, I'll go to the mantle and after the mantle, I go down to the earth. Let's get started. I am finally finished decorating the fireplace, guys, from the mirror right down to the earth. I will just take you through and point out some of the elements that I have added to the space. Now I went for simplicity. I wanted to have some negative space so that the different elements could shine while they work together in unison. I did not want to crowd the space. So here goes. As I said, I had something special planned for the mirror. And this is what I did. I made some faux blooms from old CDs and uh, petals. I do have a video actually how to make them online. So you can check that out. I added them to the mirror and I add them a different lens so that they would create that rhythm and a fun element to the space. They also coordinate with the ones over here on my Christmas tree, also on the rails going upstairs. So I went for odd numbers. I put the one in the middle which I also added some sparkly snowflakes to. So it stands out a bit different from the other ones that are off to the side. So one in the middle and then two on either side. Now down here, I kept my urns with the fern, but I added some greenery. I added some cedar branches 
to the ferns just to make it more festive and then I put a couple silver and red balls in the urn. Hair, originally I was going to use that taller candelabra but I opted to use this low line menorah because it's it doesn't compete with the urns it's the colors contrasting and the height is also at a good level so it does not compete with the urns on the side along with the menorah i added these four burlap flowers that i've had now for some time <laughs> And I have these blue balls. Now, I wanted to add another element um, apart from just the menorah and the flowers there. So I opted for the blue because I do have blue in other areas in the complete decor for the home. But the balls would not stay. So what I did was use a little hot glue to put the balls together. So if you're trying to display balls like I have here and they're not staying in order how you want them to stay, just put a little dab of hot glue and that will keep them nicely together. So they're neatly tucked up against the menorah. So that's it for the mantle. The two urns with the greenery, the balls, the menorah and the burlap flowers and then down here i have this nice little vintage stool that i figure i'll just put a blanket on the blanket adds color plus you can always grab it and cover up if you are feeling a bit chilly during the christmas season and i have my modern lost tongue here beside the fireplace so i just added some balls and a snowman that one of my sons made um, some time back in school because they are now 14 and 24. So that's probably at least five years old. And then over here, I have another flower pot, which I generally keep here with a plant. The plant is still there. It's a pretty small plant, but I've added some greenery to the pot. And then I added these two ornaments here. What I did was just to use like a dowel at the base there so I could get the height to where I wanted it to be. Because it's always good when you're doing anything like this to have different heights. That creates interest. And so that's it guys the fireplace is done now i think we can turn the fire on and cozy up and have a merry little christmas no guys thank you so much for watching the videos thanks for subscribing to home gardens and you with valerine i hope that by me showing you how i decorate my mantle for the christmas season that it will help you in decorating your mantle not only for the christmas season but for any time of the year. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please tell somebody about it and leave a comment below. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos. Now, until I see you in the next one, have yourself a merry little Christmas.